I'm here at the Old Sport International Show down at the NEC in Birmingham with Cathy Seward, uh, lady rally driver. Uh, and contrary to what people might think, lady rally drivers are no longer that uncommon. And the other thing it's safe to say, when you're, excuse the phrase, up against a lady rally driver or a lady racing driver, um, no quarter is given. It's, it's another car, another competitor and somebody else wearing a crash helmet that's seriously hoping to finish in front of you. Cathy, welcome to Sunday Driver. Well, thank you, Mark. Nice to uh, be chatting to you today. How did you get into rallying? I've always loved cars and I've always loved speed as well and adrenaline. Um, my partner was already driving and had, was into rallying when I met him, so I didn't take much persuading to jump in the co-driver's seat and started co-driving for him on um, single venue stage rallies. So what made you want to change seats from the co-drivers and the maps and everything else to getting behind the wheel? Well, I think secretly I'd always see, always see myself as a driver rather than a co-driver. I didn't tell him that though. <laughs> and um, it took me, I guess, six years to keep, you know, keep on and persuade him. Eventually, he built a second car and let me have a go, go in the other seat. Now, we're sat next to your car here, uh, and anybody who's listening will be able to look on the Ribble FM and Mark Stone Facebook sites and actually see Cathy with her car. Um, it's quite an interesting car, is this, in its own way. As you were saying, it's a Category 2 car and modified, but um, it's a good old Sunbeam Lotus just to look at. Explain what the car is exactly. Okay, yes, to look at it, it does look like a normal old classic Sunbeam, 1979 is the year of the body, um, but it is actually a Lotus Excel chassis and running gear with a Sunbeam body on top, powered by a 2.5 litre Lotus engine, which we have upgraded ourselves, um, as we run a company called Lotus Bits. So we uh, deal in old Lotus cars, the old wedgie classic shaped Lotuses, the Sprees and Excels and Elites. And my partner took the engine and threw, threw a few extra bits in and upgraded it, and it, it goes very well now, 300 brake horsepower. Now, if memory serves, and if I'm right, this is a rear-wheel drive car, isn't it? It is indeed, yes, that's right. So it drives, it drives like what a car should drive like? Absolutely, it takes proper drivers to drive a rear-wheel drive car. <laughs> no, there's front-wheel drive stuff. Um, yeah, it's back-end out, power it, yeah, from behind, it's great, I love it. And my road car is a Lotus XL, so I'm quite used to driving rear-wheel drive cars and handling rear-wheel drive, because so, my road car was a Lotus XL for the best part of 13 years now. Now, what series do you actually compete in? Is it just the one series? Is it a few series? We don't compete in series as such, but what you have in rallying, um, it's called stage rallying, what we do, and there's single venue stage rallying, like we go to circuits and airfields, or there's multi-venues where you will go kind of like over to the Isle of Man and you'll go out and you'll do a few stages over the lanes, you'll have road sections, come back to service, do another few stages. And there's various different championships. We compete in tarmac championships. Our, my car's set up to do tarmac rallying, not gravel rallying. Um, so at the minute we compete in the Motorsport News Circuit Rally Championship, which is run on some of the famous circuits around the place, like Brands Hatch, Snetterton, um, Alton Park. In fact, we're at Brands Hatch in a week's time. And we want to come and see us on the 21st of uh, January. Um, and also a regional championship we do, which is the ANWCC, the North Association of Northwestern Car Clubs, and also the Avenger Summary Owners Club Championship I'm in, and also the British Women's Racing Drivers Club. They have their own championships, especially for women. And in fact, I've won their rally championship this year. So yeah, there's, there's quite a few championships going on there. <laughs> So you were saying they do circuits, because uh, earlier on when we were chatting before the interview, you said Alton Park and there's three sisters. So it's it, it, the sport, the world of rallying takes you quite a long way from where you live. It takes you all around the country. Yeah, it does. It takes us down south, up north, over to Wales. We go to uh, Anglesey Circuit. That's I love that circuit. Um, and then I think the MSV have just announced today that... Uh, we're going to Knock Hill in December as part of the um, Motorsport News Circuit Rally Championship. They've swapped Rockingham for Knock Hill, so never been to Knock Hill before, so we'll be travelling up north to Scotland. Now, you were saying one of these championships you do is the British Women Racing Drivers Club Championship. Um, 
uh, just outline, apart from the fact the, the, the name of the club broadly speaks for itself, just outline what the British Women Racing Drivers Club is all about and how any of my lady listeners uh, interested in motorsport, how they go on about joining and becoming involved in motorsport and you never know, getting themselves behind the wheel of a serious piece of machinery like yours. Yeah, anybody can join the British Women's Racing Drivers Club. You don't have to be a driver. You can just join and be um, as a support support member. Um, if you just go onto their website, if you look at they've just launched a new website, British Women Racing Drivers Club, you can go on there and just become a member. Um, you can join in at different levels. If you're a driver, you can join their various championships. You just go and do what you usually do throughout the year, but then you hand in your results and your points, and that goes towards their own championship. So there's karting, racing, hill climbing, speed, rally, um, all sorts of championships they do just for, just for women. Uh, men can join the club as well. We're not sexist. <laughs> you know, men, men can join. The more men to join and support the club, the better. Um, but the driving side is purely for women. So, yeah, it's just there to support women, really, and promote women in motorsport. As I said earlier on, it's there's more and more women becoming involved in motorsport, which, from not being funny, from everybody's point of view, is a good thing. What do you think it is about racing and rallying that is now starting to attract more women competitors? Um, I don't know. I, th- I think a lot more women are realising that what's out there. I think as well because more media. You've got Facebook, British Women's Racing Drivers Club, obviously more more sort of. Op- on, on the internet things are out there and people are seeing women out there competing more as well because of more media attention we're getting so that helps draw women into it um, and I, I just think as well if people go to the circuits and watch women racing and rallying they might think oh I quite fancy a go at that but you don't just have to drive, have to drive. there's other things you can do as well there's, there's marshalling and also if you haven't got a lot of the problem is funding uh, race rally cars are so expensive it's an expensive hobby <laughs> <laughs> for sure um, but there's other things you can do to get involved in motorsport like as I said marshalling and just join your local motor club as well because they've always got things going on like navigational things in the evening auto solos you, grass auto testing I started doing where you just take go along in your own car pay a tenner join the club and go whizzing around some cones in the field so <laughs> there's all sorts women can do to get out there and uh, get involved definitely Oh, so are there a way that I mean this applies to men as well as women? But if a woman, if any of the lady listeners are interested in having a go, is there anywhere where they can go and shall we say try it for themselves without going to the expense of buying a, a rally car and everything that goes with it? Um, that's a tricky one. I mean, if if you're interested, you want to get started in rallying. I would my personal opinion is to to have a go at co-driving join your local motor club go on the msa website um find out where your local motor club is and join them that there'll be someone in there that does rallying and lots of experienced people that will help you and you can also look me up on facebook and i can point you in the right direction as well but definitely have a go at co-driving if you want to have a go at driving but don't want to lay out all the cost obviously it is expensive but there are rallyme.co.uk I think you can go and hire a rally car for the weekend and they do everything for you they will sort you out the kit they will sort you out your um, what's called bars license so you have to go to um, a British rally school and do it do a test bit of driving and a bit of a a multiple choice um, which isn't too bad (laughs) I've done it it's not too bad um, they sort all that out for you and you can also hire the car and they cover the entry fees, the co-driver, give you a co-driver, everything if you wanted to go and try it out. So there are people out there now that are starting to hire out rally cars and do the whole package and the whole experience for you to try. Right, so anybody who wants to come and watch Cathy Stewart rallying, um, uh, where where and when will you be nearest to uh, Clitheroe up in Lancashire? Because I know you said you do Open Park and Three Sisters. When will you be at those venues? Oh, blimey, now you're asking. <laughs> um, I think Three Sisters is usually on in March time. I haven't got the exact date for that. Um, Alton Park is in November. They have um, fireworks and everything up in Alton Park. It's usually around the 5th of November, so like the first weekend in November up at Alton Park. Um, Three Sisters we go to I think in October as well like the first week in October so yeah I haven't got the, the exact dates but if you have a look as well on the ANWCC website they've got rally dates up there as well and also the um, uh, Motorsport News Circuit Rally Championship 
they've got the calendar up as well. If you have a look at those, that'll tell you the dates. Kathy, thank you for joining me on Sunday Driver. And should you want to go and find Kathy and watch her, uh, the giveaway underneath the mud is the fact that her Sunbeam Lotus has pink arches. That's as near as it gets to, uh, shall we say, giving people a clue as to who's behind the wheel. Kathy, thanks very much indeed. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Mark.